What's up on my peeps? Welcome back to another Let's Play This, and today we're going back to another horror game, and we're going to play The Crooked Man. So, this is going to be maybe a nice other game from that last game, Impossible Quiz. Uh, didn't like that one. So, let's start this. This game contains sun surprises, harsh images, the weak of heart, and those poor of horror should not play. So I shouldn't be playing. The author takes no responsibility for the trouble that arises. Mm, I don't like horror games, so I shouldn't be playing. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked star. Fought a crooked cat, which called a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Okay. Woo! Finally, things look tidy in here. What should we... That should be that. Is there anything we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometimes. Oh, oh nice. The three of us could go out for drinking. I look forward to it already. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Don't blame me! Okay. So now I can look around. No TV. Crack in the wall. Box of tissues. Telephone. Empty trash can. What's that? Huh. Jeez, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license, so I better hurry go out the door and get him. What? I hear someone. Ooh. What's with this place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's probably falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for an, a charge, change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. He can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't be, don't come complain to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look. I should... I should be sorry. We'll visit here some other time. Don't go ahead. Don't go. Okay. Tell me it gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Alright. Telephone ringing. Should I get the telephone? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy from my first day in a new place. So. Go to bed. Man, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Ah, uh, really? 
Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Who is it? This one? There's no response. No response. No response. Yes. Who is it? It is that one. Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from crying from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Damn, be an ass about it. Huh? What are you saying? I will sleep till you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're a guy who moved in 205, right? There's no way you hear me from there. Uh, I, I guess so. So, sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. You going crazy? Let's see. Stop. What the fuck is that? Hang on. Nice, the water. Is the faucet busted? <coughs> oh no, can't you see? Hmm. Under the bed. Woo -hoo. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to pr trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Down here, excuse me. Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and rolling. Ew, your sweaty pillow. Ooh, that's nasty. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'm getting bad. But I didn't go to bed. Okay. That sounds still. Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need some sleep. So. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the. No, no, I'm. I don't. I didn't mean. Just I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that that for me. Okay, bye. Man. Slept until noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Where are we going? Where are we going? Dollars. Paul. Paul? What is it? Y yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but. Ooh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of child's brat do you take me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, away, I'm off. Anyway, I'm off. The hospital. Here. Need to go away. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, his mom's in the hospital. Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. 
Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved into the, this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll, ma I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, she said Alzheimer's, don't she? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Oh, so Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Oh. Who are you? Say something, will you? Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, come get asleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you back to bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll have to, you'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take care of her. Davy? Is that you, Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You, you want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me! Remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Miss <coughs> Hoover, please calm down! Bring the sedatives. Ooh, you lowered. Mm. I'm gonna leave. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. I, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I, I hope you can help her. Oh... Yeah, not sad to begin with. Ooh, what's that? What did it? Is the other one? Hey, the desk. Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a skull. Looks pretty old. Hmm. The LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be from the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture better off after all, huh? Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Uh, you saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. 
Kyle, if you if you're ever lonely, okay. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her or worry. She should look after herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. You just called to say that. Why don't you just come over? Alrighty. I'm tired of reading. I should go back to bed. Well, let's go to bed then. Oh. TV. Oh. Well, why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? I don't know. Maybe you should go to her chart. Check the sink again. Maybe not that sink? Was there a sink in the kitchen? I don't know where it is. Sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. There's a bunch of pieces of paper laying everywhere. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I just sleep and forget about it. I don't know. I think you should move out. You'll you'll seem like your mess is haunted, possessed, whatever. Moving for a ch change the pace, huh? Guess that's not working out so well. Appreciate Paul and Mary's help, but more crime. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Hey, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course, there's no kids here. I must be getting tired. Ooh, something busted. I don't see nothing busted. Oh, there is. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Ooh, is that smearing blood or dookie? Look like dookie. You gotta have, you need help going to the bathroom. Coffee. Mm, there ain't no coffee. The coffee says, you gotta be. This, this room is really, really strange with his voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Huh? Hi, Paul. It's David. Yep, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, um, what was up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is it okay? okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You, you asked the landlady? You curious about something? Yeah. Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask Lenny, sure, later. Lenny's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Going downstairs. There's a crack in that one, too. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. 
Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I can rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you like. N no, there's no need. I, I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age? I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. This one. I keep on forgetting which room. Oh, the footprints. Go to the crack. In the world? Why are there these tracks on the floor? They look up to this wall. There's something in this crack? I got a key. This key is pretty fancy. I think it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Uh, this is like a poltergeist or something. But I wouldn't have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Okay, getting depressed now. But I wonder about the scraps of paper. What was the man who lived here? Like, did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it, but call it a day. So we're gonna go to bed now. Alright, and we're gonna stop here. We're gonna play some more of this. This is getting interesting. So, leave a message in the comments if you wanna see more of this. If you don't, we're gonna play it too, probably. Um, so, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, peeps!